What makes a protagonist or a hero great? I think what makes a protagonist or a hero great is that they make bad decisions and good decisions. I think we need, I think what you even have seen in the recent, I think what re really resonated to people about the Marvel Cinematic Universe over the last 10 years, and I use that as like, you know, those are the biggest protagonists in the world that we've ever had, is that they were all flawed. And I think that's why so many people related to them around the world uh, with these characters. And they weren't perfect characters. And I think, so that's from the top down, right? So I think in a protagonist, it's showing that there's flaws, there's chinks in the armor, and everyone puts up the front that everything's okay and that they're strong and that they're confident, but they all struggle with their own inner monologues and their own weaknesses. So I think it's, you know, it's really showing um, kind of a, the, the, the faults in the, in the follies of those characters and that they also make bad decisions. But I think what's great about it, what really makes a great character and protagonist is showing that they have a, also a, a code, a, a, moral, a moral compass. I think that's really important. Even to bad, even to when your character is an antagonist, they gotta have a code or a moral compass. Characters without any, just who, who wants to watch that? Do you remember the first film that you saw that, that had a, a challenged protagonist that, that, that was flawed but you, you resonated with? And... I think it was the first Batman with Michael Keaton. I think I always kind of like understood, because he was just like an arrogant, you know, kind of, <laughs> you know, elitist guy, but he had, so much of his own demons that he was struggling with. That movie really resonated with me as a kid. Um, I don't know, I always think of Bat the first Batman was like a very influential movie when I was, you know, eight, nine years old. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, um, I don't know, I've always, I, fought, I fell in love so much with flawed protagonists along the way. I mean, like Taxi Driver changed my life. Like that film is my favorite movie, I love it. And you know, Travis Bickle is a really interesting character because he so believes he's right and everyone else is wrong that he ends up committing a, basically a heinous act of violence but becomes rewarded for it. And I think that's so interesting to me about him is like, he was right. You, he might seem psychotic and crazy to you and because we've been able to live with him for two and a half hours, but to the rest of the world, he's a hero. So I love those characters, you know? So that was probably the most major influential one on anything I've ever tried to make. Did you see the movie Smooth Talk with Laura Dern? No. And Treat Williams, yeah. No, but I love both those actors. <laughs> oh, you gotta see it. So she's, she's a, oh, it's probably not totally PC, but I love that film. And I thought, you know, she was not totally flawed, but she, you know, was pushing the envelope a little and she was challenged in some ways. I don't want to give away. You no, know, I'll check it out. You gotta check it what out. What was it made? Mm, I want to say 80s. Awesome. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's definitely not a totally PC movie, but um I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>